OK, you've got the... Well, we said G8, because Jack Chirac said that on practically on the eve of the G8 summit. <laughs> That's and desperate. But that was the That's not desperate. That was one of the things they were talking about, the G8 summit. Gordon Ramsay, Rob Bryden, what have you got? Yep, G8 again at um, Edinburgh. And, um, G8 in Edinburgh. French insults yeah, and off protests. Food. Yes. Well, I think you guys get a point and you get a point. Uh, it was Jack Chirac <laughs> slagging off British food. Yes. Well, fuck the French and fuck their snobby French food, which is, incidentally, the title of Gordon's new book. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, Cameron and Tony asked you what famous shoes were stolen. Ruby slippers, Wizard of Oz. Let's have a look. The answer is... The answer is... Dorothy's magical glittery red shoes. That'll be Dorothy. Of, oh, sorry. Dorothy's red shoes from The Wizard of Oz. From the brilliant film, The Wizard of Oz. OK, well, yeah. The brilliant film. Yes. Ruby Slippers. We went Ruby, Ruby Slippers. slippers. Yep. Ruby and the Ruby Slippers, slippers you're all absolutely right. It was the Ruby Slippers. I'm not sure who stole them, but I'll wager it isn't the only forced backdoor entry he's attempted this year. <laughs> <laughs> it was gay. <laughs> <laughs> You take a sideways look at everything. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you what Richard and Judy were discussing. We guessed the Beckham affair. We, yeah, we did, did you? He too. said law at the end of it. It was Nanny Gate. It was Nanny Gate. It was at the Jude point. Law affair with the nanny that was in the papers all over the summer. I but told Angelina you. <laughs> well, people have been asking why anyone would cheat on the stunning Sienna Miller. Well, when you're a famous actor like Jude Law, you can have your choice of women. It's like a box of chocolates. Sure, your favourite might be the strawberry cream, but every so often, you'll want to fuck a pig. <laughs> <laughs> It's a laugh, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We asked you which actor went to help the victims of Hurricane Katrina. What have you got? It's Sean Penn. Sean Penn. Sean Penn, you're absolutely right. We've got a picture. Have a look at this. Now, I appreciate he was going to help, but I think he's going to need a bigger beaker. <laughs> that's quite a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Sean. I appreciate you trying to help, but that's going to take fucking ages. <laughs> Like adding to it. Was it Arnold Schwarzenegger, I wonder? It could have been, but I'm afraid it wasn't Arnold no. Schwarzenegger. Um, the next question I asked you was, what did Pete Doherty sing at Live Aid? <laughs> what did you, uh, what you get? Oh, A load of bollocks. <laughs> what does Ozzy make of your potty mouth? <laughs> he must be shot. He often has to stick something in it to make me be quiet. Yes, okay. all right, Karen. <laughs> you wouldn't really have known from listening to it, would you? He was a bit all over the place, bless him. Uh, but it was Children of the Revolution, the T-Rex classic. It was the T-Rex classic, Children of the Revolution. <laughs> Apparently, Mark Boland hasn't been this upset since he died. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I've got a special bonus round for you now. Yeah. Three points available here. All you have to do is identify the TV noise. Here's your first TV noise. Just write down what it is. Start with an easy one. Oh. Vanessa Felt, Passing Wind. <laughs> OK, what have you all got? We've got the TARDIS. TARDIS, TARDIS, TARDIS. Let's have a look. OK, ready for the next one? Here it is. <laughs> Any idea what that is, Rob? Is it I'm... Wellard from EastEnders? <laughs> It's not, no. Is it a very famous sound? From it's a very famous sound. Mm. The most famous sound from a massive hit show that came to England this year. Oh. <sighs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. The answer is not. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just the name of the show, Jimmy? Just the name of the show. Well, let's have a look at what you've put. OK, we guessed a little bit. We put Carol Thatcher weeing, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> lost, lost, lost. Well, you're all right. It is the monster from Lost. Have a look. I think, it's fan I think it's the best thing on TV. Well, you yeah, would, because you're simple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're easily pleased. It's, quite, it's written all over your big face. Don't but stand listen. <laughs> it's written all over my big face. What, in big writing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you're easily <thick> pleased. <laughs> Let's have a listen to your last <laughs> noise. <laughs> Sharon, would you like that again? Yes, I didn't quite hear it. <laughs> Can we have more of a clue? More of a clue is from a massive TV show that was on over the summer. Is it Lost? Is it the, the monster summer? farting? <laughs> <laughs> After he eats one of the people. <laughs> I'm sure you were offered it, Denise, and turned it down. Oh, oh, yeah, we know what it was, yeah, yeah. Oh, we know, I know, I know, yeah. Oh, this was a great moment. This was very fun. Okay. 
What have you all put? Let's have a look. What Jonathan and Sharon? Right, well, look, it's a bit of a mess, but it says at the top, Rebecca, Celebrity Island, Lou's, Celebrity Love Island. It was Rebecca Lou's when she was all flirty with Callum Best, and he'd go, yeah, all right, mate, it's all good, mate. And then she, she fired and he went, oh, man, that made me sick, man. And then <laughs> he, he didn't want to go out with her anymore. <laughs> so one minute he was hot, and I think he was just looking to stop going out with her. He was all over her. He hadn't even mentioned her tash. And then <laughs> out he came, and then he went, oh, man, that's disgusting, mate. I don't like that, mate. All right, mate, it's all good, mate. You're right, of course. Thank you. It was Rebecca Lou's on the Celebrity Love Island. You've got Celebrity Love Island. We did, but I, I sort of whispered uh, to David we, yeah. and Callum Best. I, was, and he... I wrote Karen Best. All right, <laughs> <laughs> finish writing Karen Best. I was trying thing. to explain to him but what happened. I, I, you see, I'm, I now realise, of course, that Callum Best is a person, whereas Karen Best. Well, <laughs> there probably is a Karen Best Karen somewhere. Karen does her best. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. so that's all a bit of a fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, Gordon and Rob, you've gone for old yep. big brother McCruick yeah, farting. Well. I'm sure he makes a similar noise, <laughs> but that's not what we were looking for. Damn. Let's have a look at that clip. Can you stop with that? Did you guess it? <laughs> <laughs> I just farted, sorry. Oh. I had the most embarrassing night of my life last night. We were all sitting around the table. And anyway, um... So, and I farted. <laughs> Oh my god, that's made me sick. <laughs> Sorry, that's the most embarrassing night in her life. She farted. <laughs> oh, big deal. Wait till you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Before we all join in, can I just check she's not a surprise guest about the company? <laughs> Ladies be and gentlemen, to... Rebecca Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing, though. It's all, we've all let one out, surprisingly, at, you know, <laughs> inopportune moments. OK? You wouldn't want it televised, would you? You wouldn't want it to go no. out, you know, I mean, I know, I know she maybe is someone who we think perhaps morally is questionable, but to actually, you know, float an air biscuit live <laughs> on TV... <laughs> that wasn't an air biscuit, that was a fucking log. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at the end of part four, it's time to look at the scores. Sharon and Jonathan have 29 points. Denise and David have 20 points. Gordon and Rob have 21. Well, time for another break. I'll see you in September, which is about two minutes away. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year 2005. Let's refresh our memories about September and October. America set about dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Now, my favourite thing about Hurricane Katrina, and I know it's wrong to have a list, <laughs> was the fact that it was a natural disaster, often referred to as an act of God. And after this act of God, they had a day of prayer. Day of prayer for an act of God. How exactly does that prayer go? Dear Lord, what the bloody hell was that all about? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Britney Spears had a son by caesarean section, presumably to avoid the paparazzi waiting outside the front exit. <laughs> the former Met Police Commissioner, Lord Stevens, claimed in his autobiography that former Home Secretary David Blunkett stabbed him in the back. In fairness, he didn't mean to. He was trying to open a letter. <laughs> and on the eve of the new Wallace and Gromit movie, Ardman Animation's warehouse burnt down, causing an estimated £3 million worth of publicity. <laughs> Time for a bit more quiz, I think. Yes. This month, model Kate Moss's cocaine habit was splashed across the papers. Some companies decided to drop her from their campaigns. Name two of the hypocritical fashion tossers. <laughs> Gordon, Rob, what are you giggling yeah, about? Because we, 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 we know what...